Oh, yes. You ever been sandwiched before between a commentator and a superhero? No. Today is your lucky day. I guess it is. Jim, uh, I don't know where Jim went. Jim said he went to go talk to Tom Handsome Helen. Oh. See if Tom Handsome Helen could come down, but he hasn't come back yet. So, Captain Tomville, D-Train, talk about the first half. It's senior night. Talk about the emotions you're going through right now. Um, nervousness, that's about it. Nervousness? And excited, yeah. Excited at the same time, I mean? Yeah. What are you nervous about, sitting next to a man in tights? Yeah, that's it. Or sitting next to Captain mm -hmm. Sommel. Because I'm oh. the one with the tights on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you nervous about? You're playing a great game. Yeah. Not just me, the whole team. Like, whole team? Everybody's, people playing for the first time, like Courtney, she's pretty nervous today. Yeah. yeah. But she played good. Vengeance is out there with her ankles. She yeah. seems to be doing okay, you know. Yeah. Well, they're all out there with ankles. Tommy! <laughs> am I right or am I right? You're right. So talk about what uh, what being a Lady Hounder means for you. You're coming down to the end of your career here. Yeah. You know, we're going to go to the playoffs. Hopefully have a home game. I would think that that would be a lot more emotional than tonight. But talk about senior night and what that means to you and the girls. Um, it means a lot to me. My last year here, yeah. I've been doing pretty good this year. So it means, it means a lot. It's it good does. stuff. It does. You're going to play ball in college next year? I'm thinking about it. I don't know yet. It's not a definite. What college you, colleges are you looking at? University of Hartford, Fairfield University. Those seem kind of far away. Right. Yeah. Stay a little <laughs> more close to Jim and Bob, perhaps? Tufts, right down the street. Definitely not. No <laughs> way. Oh, come on. <laughs> what do you want to study? Business. Yeah, oh, right, ah, good, yeah. Well, right now the economy is going down the drain. Yeah. You can turn come. that around, you know. All right. Jim and Bob do need uh, an agent. I don't think Jim will mind if I look in his bag and look for a consolation prize. Hold on. Okay. All right, well. Look at this. You ever get chocolate from a superhero? No. This is your lucky day again. I guess it is. There you go. 50% off, CBS. <laughs> you want to you give a shout out to anyone before we let you go? Um, my mom, my dad, Franklin Evelyn. There you have it. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. D Train. Thanks for joining the D -train. us. D Train. No problem. Don't be nervous. Right, be careful. Don't fall. I won't. Careful. <laughs> The D train to Lambeth running off. Captain Summerville. How you been? I've been fantastic. How you been? I've been doing all right. Where have you been? Me? You. I've, <laughs> I've been right here. <laughs> no. Where have you been? I've been here, but not during the games. Ah, fair enough. I've actually been looking for a girl for the past couple of years. For yourself? Yes. Oh, come on. Even a superhero gets lonely. Really? Oh, yeah. Now, does, the, does a girlfriend for a superhero also have to have superpowers? Uh, originally, that was my criteria. I have since lowered my standards. Wow. Which increases the number of players. Nice to see you, too! Mrs. Hoodlum, big wave. A lot of people have been coming down asking, where's Captain Somerville? This, that, and the other thing. Two weeks ago, I don't know if you're aware, but Sinister Somerville was actually down here. What do you have to say about that, Captain Somerville? Well, I was actually on a date with a girl I met on Match.com. And we were at the 99s in Somerville? Yes. I actually saw you and uh, Jim having some buffalo wings and stuff. You were at the table behind me. I didn't want to bother you. But I did see you two there. Mm. Um, and they were replaying that game. And I saw Sinister Somerville on the screen essentially calling me out. And I decided I had to put my love life on hold just for a week or two till we get through this season. And I came down to talk to him. And I was wondering if you know where he is. You're asking me if I know where he is? But why wouldn't you? I don't I've never met the man. He could be here. Yeah, hey, problem sure he is. Well, anyway, Bob, uh, if you go to the, I don't know if you're aware, if you go to youtube.com slash Jim and Bob 77, yeah. there are some videos up there, and a couple of them are called Wasabi Tribe 1, Wasabi Tribe 2. Yes. And part two involved an appearance by myself where I was actually training uh, Jim and Bob, or about to begin training Jim and Bob yep. to to face Sinister Somerville and the Wasabi Tribe, and it ended with to be continued. And I'm hoping, if schedules permit, that we can finish that story and let everybody know how it turns out this summer and air that next year. Well, I don't see why not. I don't see why not either. We just got to come up with a good script. Right. Oh, I got a good script. So, so what are your thoughts on the first half here? I was kind of busy. I hanging up in the rafters. I kind of get a little dizzy sometimes when I'm up high. Well, Lady Hounders, you know, they uh, they got out to a big lead, big lead like Jim and I expected. Some of the Pride girls getting awfully close now, right. Jim. Watch out. Uh, Captain Sommel. How, how, how'd the Pride team do this year? So far, we have one loss. One loss to who? Melrose. Melrose, I'll take care of them for you. Okay. Thomas. <laughs> uh, your season over? No. We really? 
four games left. Playoff? No. Winchester tournament, but no playoffs. Okay. Are you guys looking forward to the banquet? It's always a fun time. Yep. Where is it this year? It's at uh, Saints. It? It's at some church function hall somewhere. Because good times close down. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's so, so depressing. You can't do anything about that, can you, Captain Sobel? So much for the good times. They, they should so just keep it open for us. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Oh, they should oh, no. keep it open just for us, just once a year. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, like because they things. love us. Yeah. They do. So, so you're down here to challenge it, Sobel, or just? Well, he called me out. I figured I'd show up, and of course, you know, I canceled the date for tonight. And now he's not here. Woo. No. Maybe he'll show up in the playoffs. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, who here is on the eighth grade team? Eighth grade. I am. Oh boy. All, All you right. girls. Just in case any of you make varsity as a freshman next year, why don't you run down your first and last names for us so Jim and Bob's nickname committee can start start uh, processing some possible nicknames. So yeah. can we get some nickname uh, first and last names. Megan O'Brien. Megan Middle, O'Brien. Middle Megan. Melissa McGovern. McGovern. Kristen Florio. What's what it? Kristen Florio. Florio as an F. All right. Evora, Indira Evora. Evora, it's an E. Molly Kotzuba. Molly Kotzuba, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I butchered your bigger sister's name earlier today. Oh, and Michelle Cremoni. We know Cremoni. That's all. We know Minnie Hoodlum, but Minnie Hoodlum's a hockey player. So. Right. So we have to we have to uh, let Jim know that he's going to start working on another K nickname. Who is Jim, by the way? Uh, he was over there talking to Tom Helen, I think. I think he's in the bathroom. In the bathroom? Yeah. Can we get him for you? Let me go get it. I'll be right back. All right, all right. Okay, talk to Bob, will you? Okay. How you doing, Bob? I'm doing good. You're That's just good. so yeah. shiny and cool. You like that? Very yeah. Nice. Very get nice. it. I got it, I believe, at a Hot, at hot Topic. Are you familiar with that store? Not I Party? No. Oh. Huh? Yeah, come down. Come on down. Don't break anything. Why are we moving? Because we are. Because we love Bob. I'm going to put those on. Awesome. 32 to 8. So you guys are going to be here in the playoffs? It might be a home playoff game here. Really? Yeah, definitely I'll we definitely will. Come. No. Looks like they're playing a game of knockout. It's knockout. So yeah. Stop. So what else is going on? Well, Hello? Yeah, we didn't put it on tonight. Yeah, you remember the banana people? The banana people, yeah. yeah those are funny. <laughs> we got distracted because Captain Sobel came down. So when Captain Sobel comes down, he kind of steals the show. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you know? he's so popular. So did you guys miss Captain Sobel? Yeah. Yeah, it was good to see him. Jim. What? Where? Jim. Hi, Jim. Oh, oh Mr. Jim. Kaboom. Look at all these TV stars. Daddy. Are you the eighth grade head coach? I am. Mr. Kaboom is it? I apologize for butchering your daughter's last name during the starting five. I don't know what came over me. And Melissa's dad, Mike, is our, our other coach. Okay. And, actually, and Kaboom. We have to mention Kaboom. Oh, she helps out as well? Oh, she's been a coach for four years. But has she been like a big sister to you girls? Oh, there you have it. She's, like, she's a big sister. Very good, very good role model. And Molly. Yeah, we know Molly. But Casey's <laughs> been a great role model for these girls. Awesome. For four years. What's Kaboom going to do for college? Any, any plans?